It is great to see you back to your CompTIA IT Fundamentals training course. In this lesson, we are going to talk about data types. Data types are an attribute of data, letting a compiler or interpreter know how a programmer would like the data to be used. The first data type we will discuss will be char, which is short for character. Char is used in a variety of programming languages and refers to a single character. Examples include 3, B, or the exclamation mark. A string is a set of characters interpreted as written by a programming language. A string is typically found between quotation marks. An example of a string would be quotation, hello world, quotation. The length of a string can be variable or fixed length. If a string is fixed length, and the input is too long to fit the fixed length, characters will be truncated or dropped, typically from right to left. This is known as truncation. An integer, represented by the int function in many programming languages, is a positive or negative whole number. Examples of an integer include 3, 10, or negative 15. Floats contain up to seven digits and include at least one decimal place. 3.3 and 2.7 would be examples of floats. Booleans evaluate whether a condition is true, one, or false, zero. Boolean logic includes comparisons such as and, or, not, and XOR. And refers to if multiple values exist in a statement, the statement is true. However, if only one or no values exist in a statement, the statement is false. In our example, you can see x equals 1 and y equals 1. So if x equals 1 and y equals 1, the statement would print true. Otherwise, it would print false. In this example, because x equals 1 and y equals 1, this would print true. In our next example, we see that A equals 1 and B equals 2. If A equals 1 and B equals 1, this would print true, or else it would print false. In this example, false would be printed. OR checks whether either value in a statement exists for the statement to be true. If neither value exists, the statement is false. In our example, we see that C equals 1 and D equals 2. So if C equals 1 or D equals 1, this would print true. Otherwise, it would print false. In this example, we see that C equals 1, so this statement would print true even though D equals 2. In our next example, we see that E equals 2 and F equals 3. So if E equals 1 or F equals 1, this would print true, otherwise it would print false. In this example, false would be printed as E equals 2 and F equals 3. NOT checks that no value exists in a statement. If no value exists, the statement is true. In our example, we see that H equals 11. If not, H equals 10, print true or else print false. In this example, because h equals 11 and does not equal 10, this would print true. In our next example, we see that g equals 10. If not, g equals 10, print true or else print false. In this example, it would print false because g does equal 10. XOR checks if either value exists in a statement for the statement to be true. If no value exists, or both values exist, the statement would be false. We will now go through some review questions to test our knowledge. Once the question is read, you may want to pause the video to work out the answer. Question 1. Which of the following would be an integer? The answer to this would be A. 3. Question 2. What data type refers to a single character? The answer to this would be C. Char. Question 3. Which of the following is a float? 
The answer to this would be C, 22.345. Question 4. True or false, a Boolean evaluates whether a condition is true or false. This would be true. Question 5. Blank occurs when a string has a fixed length and the input exceeds the fixed length allowed. This would be truncation. Question 6. In binary, each 1 or 0 represents what data size? The answer to this would be C, a bit. I encourage you to continue practicing the concepts that we have already learned in your journey going forward. I look forward to seeing you in our next video where we will discuss computing and processing and I would like to thank you for watching.